At the Ryder Cup in France, Hal Sutton was one of eight former captains invited back to play in an exhibition match at the Golf National. It was a welcome return to the competitive arena for the 60-year-old, who's been unable to play as much as he'd like due to health problems. He and partner Ben Crenshaw took on the European duo of Jose Maria Alathabal and Mark James, rekindling memories of an event he played in four times as a player before captaining the USA in 2004. The Ryder Cup meant more because you were playing for more than just yourself. And, uh, you know, any other championship that you're playing in, you know, you're, the outcome is only affecting you, good or bad. And uh, I think that carries a certain amount of pressure, but when the outcome uh, affects others, it carries a great deal more pressure. And that's what makes the Ryder Cup special. Despite a lengthy layoff from golf, the 1983 PGA Championship winner showed he still has the skills. He and Crenshaw proved age is just a number, as they overcame their younger European opponents. And Sutton intends to try and do the same on the PGA Tour Champions in 2019. Well, I teach a lot of golf now. And I don't play a lot personally, although I'm going to play next year on the Champions Tour. I'm finally healthy again. I've had both my hips replaced. I had a heart attack right after I had the second one replaced. So I felt like God was trying to tell me slow down and regroup and so I did and, and uh, I feel a lot better so I'm going to go back out and play some next year. I miss playing competitive golf a little bit you know once you have played a lot of competitive golf you know people f say find the joy in the game well the joy in the game is being competitive in the game and for me I don't know what it is for everybody else. I think as you age, you, you, uh, your skill level diminishes, and uh, I think you begin to fear things you didn't used to fear, and I think then overcoming those fears is a sense of accomplishment that uh, very few understand. Tiger Woods understands it. He just overcame a lot of fears to do what he did, and uh, I have a great amount of admiration for people that can do that recover their game. Hal knows Tiger well, in no small part due to their time spent together at the Ryder Cup. And Sutton was impressed by his compatriot's emotional tour championship triumph. I spoke to him for a few minutes the other night, just he and I, and I saw a, a sense of relief and a sense of pride for the accomplishment of it. I saw peace in him, and I think he knows what he's capable of now. He was close, didn't quite get there, but he kept coming and didn't lose the belief in himself. He just got better and better and better. I mean, the whole world could feel this coming. You know, and he didn't just win. He led from start to finish. On the East Lake, that's pretty powerful. Tiger has overcome many adversities. And uh, in fact, this latest feat that he had, most people couldn't have overcome. And I mean, that shows what Tiger's all about. Uh, he's grown tremendously as a person. He understands himself better than he's ever understood himself. And uh, wisdom has sunk in to Tiger.